Welcome to the searching and registering an available domain name video. Let's go ahead and search for an available domain name. When you're at the GoDaddy.com domain, you'll be brought to the home page where you can enter the search for an available domain name in this field here next to start a domain search and click the orange button that says go. Or you can do it at the bottom here and we can enter a domain name that we're looking for to see if it's available and click the orange button go there. And over here, if I scroll up, it shows that dogpottery.com is available at $8.95 a year. Right here below in the also available tab are additional domain names that you can check box if you'd like to order an additional domain name. So now we're going to show you how to register just this one domain name. Let's try registering this domain right now. So let's scroll down, since this domain is available, to the continue button and click on that. Now at this point in time, GoDaddy is going to try to add on additional features to your purchase, but we're not going to order any of them. We're going to click continue to check out. And over here, let's create a new GoDaddy account and let's call it Dog Pottery and dogpottery at gmail.com. That's our email address. Okay. And uh, we're going to add the address. I'm going to use this address here. And enter the zip. So you enter the additional details for your business. Okay. And let's click continue. All right. Now it's saying if you enter a company name, you must also check the box certifying that the company name is a legal registry. Well, in which case we're going to delete that because that's not the official company name. We'll click continue and it'll give you the details of name and all of the address and contact info. And here we'll click continue. Now you have a chance here to click on this plus sign. If you order multiple domains, it'll show you multiple domains, but it's just one that we're registering right now. I have a choice of registering multiple years or one year. Okay. Now I'm going to scroll down a little bit here and show you that these are the additional services they're going to upsell you on. And we're not going to bother with them. We're going to click quick checkout and continue. Okay, now you can pay in a variety of different ways with credit card. If you already have an account there, you can pay, put your credit card account on file at GoDaddy, pay by check, PayPal, gift cards, or yeah, that's basically all the options you have. So assuming that you're going to pay by credit card, and you would then go ahead and click on these two boxes if you've read the agreements and the universal terms of service, and click checkout now. At this point, you would make sure that your uh, account information is accurate, okay? And they're asking if we are already a customer. If you want to log in, you click here, or let's go ahead and create a new account here. Now, being that uh, dog pottery is actually not on my credit card, we're just going to put the real name, okay? And then we're going to scroll down and make sure that all these other fields are filled out correctly and it's asking for a login ID and let's change that and I'm going to put a password in they want me to confirm the password and um, I'm just going to do a password int and the emails right confirm the email that's right how did I hear about GoDaddy well um, let's say I'm already a current customer and um, right here, they're going to ask if you'd like to subscribe to the other additional newsletters and offers. Let's say you don't want any of them. You can always check box no. Okay. And let's continue to check out. Good. Now they want you to enter your billing information. So all the information here should be right. Let's check here. I'm going to enter my credit card details and I'm going to click checkout. 
At this point, you'll be receiving a confirmation page and a confirmation email, and we'll show that in one moment. Let's see the thank you for your order confirmation page from GoDaddy. This is the thank you for your order confirmation page that you will see after your order has been successful, where they show you your customer number, your order number, your login name, your password hint. Of course, you can click on this link to print your receipt or click on this link to log into your account. Let's check out email for a confirmation. In your email, you will receive two emails from GoDaddy. One is the order confirmation, and the other ones are information, information regarding the registration of your domain name. So for example, the first one was a GoDaddy.com order confirmation email, and you will see that they will display for you your customer number, your login name, your receipt number, and the total of what you paid, the domain name that you registered, the price you paid for it, and so on and so forth. If you scroll down a little bit more, you'll also see that you can log in to the account manager and it gives you instructions on how to do that. And we'll show you that in the next video. Now let's go ahead and scroll back up and let's see the other email that they send. And we'll go to the inbox information regarding the registration of your domain name and they will let you know that it's a successful registration and of course they give you additional instructions on how to log into your account. As a recap, we've searched for an available domain name. We've then gone ahead and registered that domain name or multiple domain names if you choose to. Then after registration, you'll check your email for confirmation of course, you'll be brought to a thank you confirmation page on the GoDaddy thank you page. Now, next up, we'll show you how to log into your domain account.